What's up guys, Thomas here and welcome back to the channel. And today we are doing the setup and first part of this small baby Nazgul Nano. Let's get into it. All right guys, so I have my typical gear here that I use for normal setup. Here is the baby Nazgul Nano. If you haven't seen my unboxing video, I'll leave a link above and below where you can find this. This is a pretty cool drone and a pretty cool unboxing guys. So I'll leave a link where you can find this. All right, as I said before, I have all my equipment I use for my typical setup. From left to right, I have my radio or my controller. This is the Jumper T light. This is like my daily driver and controller of choice. I'll leave a link down below where you can find this. I also did a video on this as well. And I have my goggles here. I have my analog box style goggles. You can get this from numerous companies. This one is from Gip RC. Uh, besides that, I have my batteries. These are one cell batteries. Just make sure though that you have the right battery for this holder. But I have a, a whole bunch of one cell batteries here. They're not the exact right size. So that's why we'll be removing this battery holder to accommodate these larger batteries. So we are gonna have to remove this top plate here. There's a tool in here and remove this battery holder. That's my first task. And then we will jump on the computer back here, go to beta flight, take a look at some of the settings and bind this to the radio. And we'll do that as well at the computer. Normally we'll do it here, but because there's no receiver in here, the receiver is integrated into the flight controller. We have to do it on beta flights. That's good to know. Let's get this started. Let's remove these three screws and we should be good to go. All right, guys, we're at the computer here. We're just gonna open up beta flight. We have my drone here the controller, I have my goggles, I have my typical fan here, just to keep the drone nice and cool. All right, let's plug it in. All right. All right, I don't have the controller connected, so that's a little different. First thing I'm gonna do is just gonna save everything in here. The yeah, F-F-A-L-L, enter, save to file. I have a whole bunch of files saved, so now we have that in case if we screw this up, we can revert back to the factory settings. All right, the first thing I wanna do here is just bind the controller to my drone here. So I don't know if it's gonna work only because Welcome to OpenTF. I don't have a battery connected to this drone, but we'll see if we can still do it. I have a profile here already built into my controller. All right, so I'm on the setup screen here, scroll down to bind. All right, so since this is an integrated receiver here into the flight controller, the only way to bind this would be to do it this way. So I'm gonna type in BIND underscore RX for receiver and then hit enter. And it says binding on the screen here. And all I have to do is hit enter. And I'm assuming it is bound. I'm gonna save. S A V E. Now I should see some. Here we go. I have input. All right, so cool thing to know here is the propeller direction. This one here looks like props are out, but that's fine because the props are already installed from the factory in here. Baby Nasco is the name. I could change that to my name. All right, power and battery, we're using one cell. Minimum cell voltage is 3.3, max is 4.4, which is good. I think we have a 4.3 battery warning. Mm, we'll leave it at 3.5 for now. If we see that the drone is recovering after a flight and the battery recovers to 3.5, then I can lower this a little bit lower and get some later warnings. As far as the tuning, we don't mess with the pins and the tuning only because we wanna see how this thing flies straight out the box. The modes though, we will have to change that. All it has here is an arm and angle mode. Wow, good Lord, do you want you to fly us in angle mode? So we have to add some other modes here. Angle mode, let's see here. So we'll do that for angle mode. Modes here, uncheck this horizon. I wanna add, and since we're down here, we're gonna add a 
deeper. So flip over crash will add that as well. All right, so now that we selected it, let's hide unused modes. So now we have all our modes here. Add range and boom. And then full right is air mode. So that's good. Let's delete this. We don't need that here. As far as the beeper is concerned, add range, perfect, flip, add range. This is a two position switch. Turtle mode on, let's move that over here. So now when I crash, I can hit this button and we're good. All right, so let's save this. OSD is always crucial for me. I wanna make sure this is correct. It's NTSC, I like to have my, my modes here. I like to have all that stuff as far as connection on top. You can add any of these in here. You have three different profiles and you can change the profiles right here. But I usually use one profile, so I'll set one profile. All right, so let's save this quickly. All right, wow, it came to race band seven. And as I said before, in the unboxing video, we have a 25 and 50 milliwatt VTX race band seven. That's good for me. All right, so everything here is good. So let's disconnect this. All right, so what we're gonna do here, I'm gonna plug a battery into it and just see if I can arm it. And also wanna see if I can get a video in my VTX here. So I have a one cell battery here. Let's plug it in. It looks all good here. Let's arm this. All right, so that all works. I have it at idle. It still wants to jump off the table here. So, all right, so let's go back to the table, take a look at this drone, make sure everything is set up for our first flight, do a quick pre-flight, and then we'll go outside and see how it flies. All right, guys, so we're back at the table here. Beta flight was pretty cool. Looks pretty good, everything looks good in the drone here. All the parameters look like a traditional drone. The last thing I'm gonna do here is just attach the Velcro on here. I am not gonna use the regular included battery holder. I'm just gonna use Velcro. The battery is very light. I'm just gonna put this right here on the top half here, top plate. Let's see here, I wanna make sure it's fine. Yeah, it's gonna reach pretty easily here. Now this Velcro here is pretty strong. I wouldn't recommend you use like a cheap quality Velcro. Yeah, this thing is not going anywhere. Yeah, guys, I'm kinda curious again, so let's put this battery in here. I just wanna see if I can arm it again. Looks good. I don't want, let's just try it. I don't want to fly it in here, but I have it in horizon mode. Let's just see if it goes up and down. So far, so good. All right, so it does fly. Whew. All right, let's unplug it. <laughs> All right. Let's go outside. Let's go for the first flight and see how it flies, guys. I'm kind of excited. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. 